I stepped off the porch of the old house and walked into a blindingly bright winter wonderland. I uttered the name into the frozen nothingness of the woods. Something grabbed me by the throat and tossed me onto my ass. Picked myself up out from the snow to see it before me. I was lost as to what to do. I had done a lot of reading, but I never thought it was real. Nothing could have prepared me for being face to demonic face with one. Luckily for me, I had some time as it was studying me or waiting for my next move. I'd love to tell you that I found a weakness as it and took it down in what the blink of an eye, but I, I didn't. In fact, I did the opposite. I froze till it got bored of staring at me, scuttling back into the forest on all fours. I sat there on the porch for a long while, smoking and thinking. I never smoked before, but it seemed like a good time to start. I was thinking about life and warnings. When I bought the house, the man who owned it before me gave a warning. He said that there was a beast in the woods, one that had been summoned by dark priests long ago. I didn't believe him. I thought him to be a crazy old man. Before he left the house to me, he gave me two things. An old piece of paper with the word Skinwalker scratched into it, and a box of bullets. He said never to say aloud the word on the paper. He also informed me that the bullets were silver, with wolfsbane, and only to use them if I could hit the creature. The reason I went out there summoning the ancient evil? I didn't believe anything would happen, and I had hoped that if something did happen, it would kill me. Uh, my life's been going downhill for a while. I lost my job, my girlfriend. My good thing was getting this house. Even still, the house is old, not very well insulated, and the electric goes haywire every now and then. So I figured I might as well find out if some ancient evil really is in the woods. Well, found out it is out there, and it does want to eat me. But from what I read, it wants to drag it out as long as possible. Something about feeding off my fear, I think? I don't know. It's just too bad I'm not afraid. I'm not- I'm just pissed. There was- There was also one other thing the man told me. I had forgotten till now. He said something about guiding spirits would aid anyone who seeks to destroy the evil entity. I had about a week to kill until my next job interview, so... I figured I might as well deal with this demon. Every night it's been waking me up. Scratching or tapping my window, then morphing into my ex-girlfriend. The only thing it did that actually bothered me was when it came to my door, morphed into my first pet, a golden retriever puppy who was unfortunately run over at the age of two. The reason I recognized it as my dog was because it looked to be a living run-over dog with its intestines split and flattened. Dragging behind it, its tail was broken, its skull flattened, and ribs were exposed. But the thing that pissed me off the most was it had my dog's collar on. That, that goddamn demon stole my dog's collar and put it on. I, I stormed up the stairs. I grabbed the gun with the magic bullets in it. But when I got back, the thing was gone. I looked at the history of the land. As it turns out, the family that owned the land had it for generations, and before them it was some kind of witch settlement? Apparently, the first inhabitants of this land were torn apart by something, and that when the townsfolks had, had gone to investigate the strange noises and screams, they had found the witches just in pieces and strewn about the land on a, make, on a makeshift shaft in the wire, on the makeshift shaft. <laughs> On a makeshift shack, the words, don't say its name, were written in blood. Now, the house itself was built by the previous family, and the land stayed in the family until it was sold to me. I understand why the man sold it to me. He was done with the creature eating his family, and he was done with the stupid cursed land. So, because I have two full weeks before my job interview... I'm going to make it my life's purpose to rid the world of that thing. To kill it, first I must know its weakness, as well as its strength. So far I know it doesn't like fire. Wolfsbane is bad for it. Silver vibrates too much, I think? Something like that. It's fast. It likes to eat people. And everyone who knows anything about it